Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Nest Learning Thermostat third generation. Before I do that, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification icon to receive new updates and to help me out. Also, if you'd like to buy this product, I would appreciate if you use the link that I posted in the description below. Let's get into some background on this product. The Nest company was founded roughly around 2011, uh, and that's also when the first generation of Nest, Nest thermostat was released. The thermostat was very popular, and I was one of the first people who also bought the thermostat. Years later, Google acquired Nest, and now it's owned by Google. So let's go ahead and talk about what comes inside the box. So you're going to have the uh, uh, display, thermostat display, right? Uh, you're also going to have the base, the thermostat base, and it comes with a leveler. <clears throat> and then you're also going to see some screwdrivers and screws and more screws. And then you're going to have the trim plate, and this is really ultimately where this goes on the wall. And then uh, on the base, basically, if you have you know, sufficient space, you can just mount this directly, but if needed, this can basically be mounted on top of this, and then this will be covered by the face plate. So now that we got this out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, put this aside so we can really focus on the product itself. All right, so let's talk about the installation. The installation is very simple. It takes about 30 minutes or less. The instruction and the mobile app are rather self-explanatory. Uh, it tells you exactly how to wire the thermostat. And the installation is as simple as unscrewing your existing thermostat uh, and then replacing it with a new one. I do recommend that you take a picture of your existing wiring just in case you needed to use it as a reference guide or if you needed to reinstall the uh, existing thermostat for any other reason. Uh, generally what you do is you're going to, to scan the QR code on the back of the uh, uh, you know thermostat plate or on the box and then you're going to follow the instructions using the mobile app uh, and it's going to be really uh, rather straightforward. Ultimately what you're going to do is you're going to install and screw the Nest thermostat uh, the thermostat comes with a built-in leveler, as I mentioned earlier, and this is going to help you to uh, make sure that it's installed evenly on the wall. Uh, and then you connect the wires and uh, you're done. As you can see, there are no wires to screw. This is a clip system, so you just put the wires in there and you clip them and that's it. Um, all right, so let's talk about the price, okay? So from a price perspective, uh, the original price is 249 but it's been discounted to 169 as of um, you know end of July, August, early August of 2024. If you want to buy this product, again, click on the link provided in the description field uh, to help me out. The thermostat has a sleek, clean, and rich look to it, which is what made it very popular. It has a self-programming feature that allows the thermostat to learn your temperature preference as you adjust it throughout the day for the first few days after the initial setup. It also monitors your HVAC to identify any issues early on and reminds you when you need to change the filter. It has an econ or economy mode, which detects when you leave the house via the mobile app geofencing feature and also allows you to switch to econ mode automatically if the sensor that's built in into the thermostat does not detect someone passing by for an extended period of time. It has an early on setting which helps start heating and cooling early on to reach the desired temperature that's set by your schedule. It also has a cool to dry feature which helps reduce the indoor humidity to reach a healthy level of humidity. But be careful Turning this on is going to drastically increase your bill. Now, Nest also shows a leaf when the temperature is set to an energy saving temperature. This is really more of a psychological thing to help you really understand when you're saving, but it also encourages people to set their temperature to an energy saving level so that they can save more if they want. You can also set a safety temperature, which basically allows you to set a minimum and a maximum threshold in which Heating and cooling 
will begin automatically to make sure that the house is not too hot and not too cold. You can also have it display the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. By the way, all these settings can be turned on or off as you desire. One thing I want to say about the self-programming, it does learn your setting as you adjust the temperature throughout the day over the next few days after the initial install. But there's a catch to that. Our preference change frequently and sometimes daily, depending on the temperature outside. Once Nest learn your initial preference, it tends to stick to that and it does not dynamically change or adjust that preference. So while it sounds good on paper, it can actually be very annoying. I've honestly had to turn this feature off and just kind of rely on my uh, schedule. The design for the self-programming seems to be deficient and poorly thought of, in my opinion. Uh, it does not do a good job at learning your temperature when the season changes. You're having to now rely on setting a daily schedule for how you want that temperature to be, which defeats the purpose of the self-programming or auto-learning. The other issue that I have with the thermostat is that you can only set one schedule at a time. So again, when the season change from, let's say, summer to winter or vice versa, you are now having to manually change your schedule to accommodate the new season. I have reached out to Nest at the time and now Google over the past many years that I've owned my initial thermostat and now this one as well that I just bought and really requested that they simply add a toggle button that allows you to switch between a summer schedule and a winter schedule and that saves those settings. Unfortunately, Google and Nest at the time had not done anything to correct this issue, despite my repeated attempts to have them make the change. By the way, forget about trying to set your schedule on a mobile app. The screen is too small, and if you try to use an iPad, the, uh, the, mob the Nest mobile app will still display the scheduler in a very small size, not taking advantage of the larger iPad screen size. So ultimately, your best bet is to use a laptop or a desktop and just log into your Nest account or Google account and set the schedule that way, because I think that's the easiest way and that's what I have to do. Now let's talk about compatibility. The thermostat is compatible with 95% of HVAC systems. Uh, it's also compatible with Google Home. Now, Google falsely advertised that this thermostat, generation three, is matter compatible, but it's not. But it's not. For those who may not be familiar with what matter is, matter is an industry standard that was established by both Google and Apple. Ultimately, Google and Apple got together and they came up with a standard uh, so that it allows all of the different manufacturers that want to be uh, that want to support the matter standards uh, so that their devices their smart devices can work interchangeably regardless of whether you have google home or apple HomeKit or alexa and what's not unfortunately it does not work with apple home kits and i learned the hard way after i bought it and have reached to google to complain about their false advertisement as well now there is a workaround that allows you to integrate it with Apple HomeKit, though it is not supported by Apple, but it does work. I've implemented that and I plan to do a, a video about that in the near future, so stay tuned. In conclusion, the third generation of the Nest thermostat looks exactly the same as generation one and two and all still have the same sleek look. It is feature rich and learns your temperature preference during the initial few days of setup. The self-programming feature, while it sounds good, can be annoying because it, once it learns your temperature preference, it does not continue to relearn and readjust. Uh, the third generation does not support app does not support Apple HomeKit, despite Google's false claim that it does support Matter. And if you wanted to buy this, please make sure that you are using the link I provided in the description, as that will help me out. Please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and bell notification icon and leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you just want to say hello and that you like this video. Thank you very much.